Hello everyone, this is iWebMakers. Today in this video, we'll explore a free, powerful UI designing tool for your C-Sharp application. A tool which will help you in building modern UI application with great customizations. Like, much customizable forms, advanced buttons with rounded corners, and a lot more. So without further delay, let's dig into the video. By the end of this video, we will create a sign-up form design in Windows form using C Sharp. This form has additional properties like rounded corners and custom form header styles. These are samples of text box and buttons using properties like gradient colors, rounded corners, and a lot more. So, let's see how it's done. First of all, let's download Krypton Toolkit to our computer which helps us to build modern UI applications. To visit this site, follow the link given in the description. Oh, I totally forgot to say, if you are new here, subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this. To download Krypton Toolkit, click on this drop-down button and select Download Zip. Now our download has been started. Until the file downloads, let me give a huge shout out to Wondershare Market for sponsoring this video. Wondershare Market is a new online product prototyping and collaboration platform, which helps UX UI designers, web designers, and many others to create great prototypes and UI designs with this tool. Thanks to Market, now you can design interactive and animated prototypes within a short time. And also, easily design a prototype that illustrates your ideas to enhance your client's experience. Mockit allows you to create prototypes, designs, flowcharts, and mind maps, which is coming soon. What's special about Mockit is, it comes with a huge library full of built-in UI assets, presets, and templates, which allows you to design prototypes much faster than ever. Personalize your work by creating your own libraries to your workflow. Let me show you how simple it is to create a prototype. Drag and drop and make your move simple as that. The interesting thing about Mockit is you can work as a team and see the changes real time. Also, share and get feedbacks for your projects. Additionally, Mockit comes with features like a full screen presentation mode with device frame for a real interactive experience and a black and white mode to highlight your proposal. When you finish, export as your wish without worrying about network connectivity or offline experience. It's free right now, so go ahead and check it out, link given in the description. Now, start Visual Studio. In my case it's 2015, you can go on with yours. Start a new project, or even you can continue with your own one. Select Windows Form. Name the project as Krypton Toolkit Demo and press OK. Next, let's create a tab for Krypton Toolkit elements. So navigate to the toolbox. Oh, if you are interested in material elements, I have two videos on it. Click here to watch. Now, right-click on the toolbox and select Add Tab. And name it as Krypton Toolkit. Now, this is where the downloaded file is required. Go to the File Explorer to unzip the downloaded file. Select the file and right-click on it. I use 7-Zip, you can use any alternatives for this task. Select 7-Zip and then Extract here. Now we are done with the file. Let's browse it using Visual Studio. Next, select the Krypton Toolkit tab and right-click on it. Then select Choose Items. Wait until the components loads. Then click on this Browse button. Open the unzipped folder. 
and navigate to bin. Then select these five .dll files. Make sure not to select this file and click on this open button. Wait till the components load, then press OK. Now we are done with importing Krypton Toolkit elements to the toolbox. To conclude the video, we have downloaded Krypton Toolkit and finished setting it up on Visual Studio Toolbox. In the next video, we will introduce Krypton elements, events, properties, and palettes. Next, design the user interface. And finally debug the program. If the video is useful, a sub to the channel would be appreciated. Until then, see you guys soon in the next video.